Are you prepared to face a world where interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness may cross your path today? It's not a pessimistic outlook, but a realistic one. As Marcus Aurelius wisely noted in his work called Meditations, begin each day by telling yourself, today I shall be meeting with interference, ingratitude, insolence, disloyalty, ill will, and selfishness. All of them due to the offender's ignorance of what is good or evil. Let's break this down and find out how you should respond to each of these situations the Stoic way. Consider this, when faced with ingratitude, think of the Stoic sage who offers without expecting in return. In the face of ingratitude, the Stoic sage maintains an unwavering commitment to virtue. Their actions are not contingent upon receiving recognition or reciprocation. Instead, they recognize the intrinsic value of virtuous deeds in and of themselves. This perspective liberates them from the shackles of external validation, allowing them to act in alignment with their highest ideals. The Stoic Sage understands that the nature of human beings is often imperfect. They recognize that ingratitude may stem from ignorance, misunderstanding, or even their own limitations. Yet, rather than allowing this to deter their virtuous pursuits, they forge ahead, guided by the principle that the true worth of their actions lies in their alignment with virtue. This stance is not one of naivety, but rather a conscious choice to rise above the limitations of human frailty. It is a testament to the sage's inner strength and conviction, rooted in the understanding that the pursuit of virtue is an end in itself. Their actions are a reflection of their commitment to a life well-lived, irrespective of external responses. Furthermore, the Stoic Sage's approach to ingratitude is a testament to their mastery over the dichotomy of control. They recognize that the response of others is beyond their sphere of influence. Instead of being swayed by external reactions, they anchor themselves in the unassailable fortress of their own moral character. In contemplating the Stoic Sage's response to ingratitude, we are confronted with a powerful invitation. It beckons us to transcend the need for validation and recognition in our own acts of kindness and generosity. It challenges us to cultivate a similar unwavering commitment to virtue, regardless of external circumstances. When you encounter insolence, remember the power of maintaining inner composure, for it is the only true measure of your character. Imagine a scene where insolence is met with serene equanimity. Picture a stoic individual, embodying the virtues of wisdom and temperance, facing the storm of disrespect with unshakable poise. This exemplifies the stoic ideal, a testament to the strength that arises from inner composure. In the face of insolence, it is easy to be drawn into a maelstrom of reactive emotions. Yet, the Stoic Sage offers a different path. They understand that the actions of others are a reflection of their own state of mind and character, rather than a direct judgment of ours. This realization grants them the freedom to respond with grace and wisdom. Maintaining inner composure is not a suppression of emotions, but rather a mastery of them. It is a conscious choice to rise above the immediate impulse to react. It is an acknowledgement that true strength lies in our ability to govern our internal state, regardless of external provocations. Consider the profound impact of such a response. It disarms hostility, turning the tide from conflict to understanding. It invites a higher level of discourse where reason prevails over impulsive reactions. It exemplifies the Stoic ideal of wisdom in action. Furthermore, the Stoic recognition of inner composure as the true measure of character speaks to the enduring nature of virtue. It is a quality that withstands the test of time, remaining steadfast 
in the face of adversity. It is our compass, guiding us through the complexities of human interaction. In our own lives, we can draw inspiration from this stoic teaching. When confronted with insolence, we can choose to emulate the sage, cultivating inner composure as our greatest asset. We can recognize that our character is not defined by the actions of others, but by our own response to them. Disloyalty may sting, for it challenges the very foundation of trust that relationships are built upon. Yet, the Stoic does not let this pain obscure their clarity of purpose. They recognize that while human allegiances may falter, the allegiance to what is right and just remains steadfast. This perspective empowers the Stoic to navigate the turbulent waters of betrayal with a sense of inner fortitude. Instead of being consumed by bitterness or resentment, they channel their energy into upholding their principles with even greater resolve. Consider the transformative power of this approach. It turns the focus from external circumstances to internal values. It places the locus of control squarely within the individual, reminding them that they have the power to choose how they respond to adversity. Furthermore, the Stoic understanding of loyalty as fidelity to principles transcends the ebb and flow of human relationships. It is a timeless and unshakable foundation upon which to build a life of integrity. It serves as a guiding light, illuminating the path of virtue even in the darkest moments. In our own lives, when confronted with disloyalty, we can choose to anchor ourselves in our core principles. We can recognize that true allegiance lies not in the unerring loyalty of others, but in our unwavering commitment to what is right. In doing so, we rise above the pain of betrayal, emerging stronger and more resolute in our pursuit of virtue. We become examples of integrity, inspiring others to hold fast to their own principles in the face of adversity. Through our example, we contribute to the cultivation of a more principled and morally grounded society when confronted with ill will and selfishness, it is crucial to remember that these are not inherent manifestations of evil, but rather misguided expressions of individuals ensnared in ignorance. The Stoic, armed with empathy and profound understanding, perceives that those who inflict harm are often the ones most in need of guidance. Consider a scenario where ill will and selfishness rear their ugly heads. The knee-jerk reaction might be to cast judgment and condemnation, to label such behavior as inherently malevolent. However, the stoic response is marked by a deeper insight into the human condition. The stoic recognizes that actions born of ill will and selfishness are often the byproducts of inner turmoil, confusion, and unmet needs. They understand that these individuals, though misguided in their approach, are operating from a place of profound ignorance about the true nature of virtue and the path to a fulling life. Armed with this awareness, the Stoic does not meet ill will with reciprocal hostility nor does the Stoic respond to selfishness with self-serving intentions. Instead, they choose the higher road of empathy, seeking to understand the underlying causes of such behavior. This perspective allows the Stoic to approach these situations not with naivety, but with a sense of purpose. They recognize that in the face of hostility, a genuine attempt to comprehend and offer guidance can be a powerful force for transformation. Through empathy, the Stoic seeks to shed light on the path of virtue, to illuminate the possibilities of a life lived in harmony with one's true nature. They understand that even those who exhibit ill will and selfishness have the potential for growth and change. In this way, 
The Stoic embodies the ideals of compassion and wisdom, contributing to the collective betterment of society. They become an example of understanding in a world often fraught with discord and animosity. By approaching these situations with wisdom and compassion, we not only foster personal growth, but also contribute to a more empathetic and harmonious world. We become agents of positive change, offering a guiding hand to those who may have lost their way. Through our actions, we uphold the stoic principle that true strength lies in the ability to respond to negativity with love and understanding. Ultimately, discerning between good and evil is a task that demands courage and humility. It requires a commitment to introspection and a willingness to question our own motives. So, fellow seeker of truth and wisdom, let us embark on this journey with open hearts and perceptive minds. Let us embrace the challenge of discernment, knowing that it is through this that we refine our moral vision. Together, we will navigate the complexities of distinguishing good from evil, emerging with a clarity of purpose and an unwavering commitment to the path of virtue.